Yo, what is going on boys, Asians? Let's take you back with another video. Today's episode, we got a banger. We got some more pit against some really strong players, 90 plus percent win rate players. And we also have a nice little bonus clip for you guys before the video gets started. So I hope you guys enjoy this epic defend. If you do, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get it. Alrighty, here we go. We got a good player right off the rip, baby. Well, that's not true. I DC like four people, and now we found this guy. But it looks cool, man. We got a freaking insane record we're up against. Pretty hyped about that. Glacier Malt's the best map of all time. Said no one never is. Let me skip that Garbanzo Beans. And we get Waddle. Phenomenal map. Love it. We have a couple of options. We could go Heli Farm Ice. We could go Dar Farm Ace. We could go Wisp Farm Ace. Uh, I think those are our best options here. I'm probably going to opt for... I want to do Dart Farm Ace, but at the same time, I kind of want to try a funky... I kind of want to try Dart Sniper Ace, but it's bold. We're just going to go DFA. I'm going to sweat DFA here. Good luck. Good luck. Don't know what we're going to be up against. We could be up against NG, which is why... Yeah, man. I'm expecting him to go NG Farm SPAC or something. Let's see if I'm correct. Is he an NG player? No? Okay. Now it narrows it down to pretty much Heli Farm Ice or Dart Far or yeah, or Dart Farm Ace. I expect one of those. We'll see what we're up against. This should be a good game though. I'm excited. Hopefully I don't sell the content. Hopefully he doesn't sell the content. And we get some juicy freaking gameplay. So passive start right off the rip, which means leads me to believe he doesn't have Heli Farm Ice because you usually want to anti-stall if you have that against DFA. It just makes your chances a lot better. Um, so it's looking like it's Dart Mirror. This will be good. Oh, Asian DFA versus DFA is so boring. I 100% disagree. Um, I rarely upload DFA versus DFA anyways. And second of all, it gets so competitive and so fun that I just love it. So I'm going to put his eco on screen as well. I'm going to be treating you guys to that. That's something I want to get, um, get to doing more often because I think it's a unique thing to my channel. Um, as my OG fans know, I've done this in the past, but I think it makes it really interesting. And you guys can kind of see the live time comparisons between the two. Obviously when I'm recording right now, I can't see that, but, uh, I wish I could. We're also going to put this on last, and then we're going to greed for our plant here. Uh, playing super, super passive start, but I am going to aggro as this goes later on. We'll put that on first. Need to be sending him uh, stuff as well. So we're going to go ahead and send him a bunch of blues here with some pinks over the top. And we'll see how he responds. We leaked like 50 lives. It's okay. If you... Okay, we're going to bloom this list for sure. Let's get a lot of leaks on him. Now, the trip dark spot is pretty dang good, but... I think this bloom boost is worth it. We'll get like 50 lives on him probably. Yeah, that's definitely worth. And now do I just save up for my trip dart? I think so. Yeah, we just go straight for our second trip dart. He's going to do the same. Now we could aggro around six, but now I think it's worth saving up for our farm. I don't know if he's used a spike or not. I'm gonna, just going to assume not. Does he aggro here? I just don't think that he does. If he does, I want these both on strong. I'd be shocked to see him aggro here. No, I wouldn't. This guy just seems like he's playing aggro dart, so. We'll see what happens. I'm just gonna go for my farm, and now we can go for our spolt, I guess. That's fine. We'll get the spolty poo up right away. Put these both on first now, and we're good to go. So he's gonna get his farm soon, but now it's my turn to aggro with the freaking green balloons. At least that's our plan here. So he probably goes for farm right about now, I would imagine. Or before Spolt. Do we force Spolt? We force Spolt. Nice. So we have a slight farm lead. Really good. Like our uh, like our play so far. We actually have the life advantage as well. Not that it matters too much in this matchup, but it is nice to have. Nice little side piece. Side asset to have, I guess. I don't think he ever aggros here. He wants to get farms. Yeah. So we're going to get up our farm as well. He's probably, I don't know. Like, you guys can tell I can't. I'm going to guess like 360 eco for him. It's hard to say though. I think that's reasonable 
We can actually go for one more farm, but instead he's gonna want to aggro this round. Fine, I overreacted too. I could have just greeted this, but oh well. We definitely go for a farm. Now he's sacking some farms here, and I don't know if that's the move, because rounds 10 through 12 are super, super fast. So I think the farm money is really useful to have. So I'm a little bit surprised to see him uh, aggro on round 8 or 9, whatever round that was. We're going to get up our jug. And we're good to go. Let's see if he aggro's right here. He has shown tons of aggression so far, so I expect it to continue. Put these on first now. We're fine. And I'm just going to play passive BIA here. Like, That's my plan. He's going to go for a farm here probably. Yep. So we're going to try to get a boost out of him right here. With eco balloons pretty much is what it's going to consist of. So yeah, I think he just panic boosts here. We'll see if I'm right though. I think you're just going to panic boost. Am I right? I think I'm right. Yeah. And you might just die. Gets the panic boost off. Fair enough. Want these both on strong. We expect a counter rush here. I'm gonna act I'm gonna bait him. He's gonna rush here, as expected. Let's do this. That defends. Don't need to boost this. We're fine. And I'll just go for round 16 BIA probably. Which is alright. Yeah, this man's playing the most aggressive. Holy. He's got a really strong eco. This is a weird. You don't really see very often where one person plays extremely passive and the other plays extremely aggressive. I mean, 4 and 28 isn't super passive, but this dude's got like 850 eco or something. He's a very strong dart player. I can tell that. Um, I don't really use dart very often, so it's just kind of a shock to the system, one might say. We expect to get rush here. Let's go for this. I need to get up my uh, BIA this round, though. So we'll do that. Round 16 BIA, amazing. He's got like a thousand eco probably, but getting this interest and money from the BIA is gonna be game changing for us. Now, I think we actually send him a Moab here. Also, all those spikes are gonna eaten up by Moabs if he sends them, which is really nice because it's like free Moab damage. So I'm, he's gonna 100% like spike the back and there's nothing I can do about that. So it's worth just sending. It's not like I can bait anything. And if he does send me a Moab, we'll just boost. Yep, here, here come the spikes. He's gonna need to boost this still, but totally fine. And he needs his jug on first. Is that gonna catch? It is. Now we rerush, force fan club, slows him down. And guess what? I'm just building up interest in my BIA. Sure, he has a good eco, but I'm also getting eco and interest. All right, we're gonna bloom boost. Probably a blunder. All right, he's gonna rush me or what? All right, we boost this immediately. Sell that actually. Get the jug on first. And I choked. Really unfortunate. I'm sorry for choking the content, boys. I'm actually devastated. <sighs> really unfavorable jug uh, throw there. I just needed one more of those spike bolts to fucking to just hit that, bro. And it didn't. Really annoying. All right, I'm going with Morris. That's really frustrating. Man, man, man. We were in a good spot, dude. We honestly were, bro. We honestly were. I'm so... Sh I'm kind of shocky rushing there. Oh, well. well. I don't know, dude. It is what it is. Can't dwell on the past. Just focus on the future. And today is a gift, so enjoy the present. You know what I'm saying? I think I butchered that saying, but something like that. All right, let's just farm. Jeepers creepers, man. I'm a bot today. First game on, but still, man, that's frustrating. This might be a mirror match. I expect this to be a mirror match. Or he's going to have ninja farm ace. That's my prediction. Very likely could be ninja farm ace. I don't think he would start like this with ninja farm ace, though. Yeah, it's a mirror match for sure. I mean, it makes sense. I think this is the meta strategy on this map. So I'm not shocked in the slightest. I don't remember my eco numbers, but hopefully we're okay here. Pretty much mirror identical starts here for both of us. And now we just save it for the Latin. He's going to do the same. I think hopefully this one's a better match. Likely going late game. Probably going to be high eco bank mirrors. Both get our lightnings. We actually leaked a little bit less than him. So we're just the better player. Just kidding. 
<laughs> now we set for our plantation, obviously, which we will get at the start of round five. Now, one thing to note is that both players are anti-stalling, so these rounds are going to be going by pretty quickly since both of our defenses are at the start of the map. And we're both um, destroying the natural balloons very, very, at a very rapid pace. I mean, the wizard's just a little goaded right now, so we'll get the plantation, same time. And round six, he might send me something. I don't think I'm going to really rush him with many, um, many things. He also has the better side for wizard because the wizard, the lightning will naturally veer to the top right of your screen. So in this instance, that's like bad for me because that tends to be the start of the scent path. Whereas for him, it's like the end of my end of the scent path. So it's actually better for him. That's when you, where you want your lightning to go. So that's kind of frustrating. See, yeah, it's really annoying. Oh, well, yeah, I'm just going to leak this out and we'll get a fire plantation and then go from there. I just have my Wiz on strong right now because the lightning kind of clean, cleans things up pretty nicely. And I actually don't think I'm going to go for a fireball here. I think I'm going to go for a second Wiz for round eight. Yeah, we only leaked like 20 lives and we get an out farm out of it. I think that was definitely worth it. He's still rushing with it though, dude. Oh my gosh, relax. Okay, he just went for his farm, so I think we can afford to do this. It should be a pretty um, effective rush. Yeah, that's going to regen like crazy, bro. We got him to use all spikes on the regions. Really nice. I'm all, I'm content with that. It's a, it's a fairly spendy rush, but we get... We force a double lightning? Did he really get up a double lightning? That's blunder, bro. You don't need double lightning there. And I expected this rush to come, which is fine. We will also use our spikes. Just one. And now we save it for double lightning. We're going to lead down to like 10 lives, but it's okay. Ah, uh, 22. I was close. This is fine. I'm still on pace to get a BIA here, which is really good. He has two lightning, so I can't do anything there against his defense. I'm just going to farm on. Uh, I kind of butchered my farm placement, so I don't think I can fit a farm here, which is no bueno. All right, let's get that up. Farms are juicy. I'm just going to tank that. I don't care about the camo. Do we get rushed here is the question. I don't even have a single fireball, bro. I think I'm planning on round 15 BIA. Probably. I think round 15 BIA is fine. I think we get rushed here, though. I'm going to get double fireball if I see any rush on my screen. Oh, camo smart. It's a good rush. It's a very good rush. He forced a lot of defense actually there. And I used a panic spike. Classic Asian, bro. Let's get greedy here. Life's too short. Nice. I'm fine boosting to ceramics here. Completely fine boosting to ceramics. He's not even sending them. Is he BIAing here? He's out of spikes. Okay, yeah, we just blue boost this. Oh, he's leaving a bank. He's so smart, dude. God dang it. I thought he was for sure be yang right there. Yeah, I'm cashing out here, fortunately. That's what we got to do, boys. Um, Can I ever force a boost here? I think I just sent him a Moab. He got a pretty late BIA, so I just don't think he's... Like a Bloom boosted Moab, does he afford a Tempest here or a Summon Whirlwind? Low key, like ceramics on the top of a Moab, is that enough to kill? No, the, the Tempest will just blow it back. That's a dumb question. It's a dumb. I'm being dumb right now, boys. I'm fine burning a boost to a Moab here, by the way. Not the end of the world. I assume that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna boost here. He's gonna need to summon a Whirlwind. And gets it up. That might have been a blundered placement, though. You're dead. Never mind. He's just fine. Okay. Splendid, boys. Splendid. Now, if he sends me a Moab, how am I playing it? Do I just go for an ODS? Not a bad play. I think Tempest is just better, though. Uh, ODS is actually fine play. Yeah, if I see a Moab, I'm going to go for uh, Operation Dark Storm. I'm guessing we both just send each other BFBs here. I think it's the right play. 
I could just play full passive though, take it late. Nah, this forces so much defense and it probably forces cash out. I'm gonna try to defend this without cashing out. I'm also we're gonna balloon boost this. He is going for an ODS. Oh, he cashed out immediately for that, huh? I assume he cashed out like immediately to do that. Um, I, if I can wait this out till the end of the round, that would be um, ideal. Because that way I'm going to get um, an additional round of interest. So that's what I'm trying to do here. As my ODS just perfectly tracks on this thing. All right. He just died right as I was about to boost, cash out, get Tempest. Unlucky, man. It's just choke first choke. Like the one time I find a really, really strong player, like we're both just choking to dumb rushes. So it's not as competitive as I would like, but I hope you guys are still enjoying the content. If you are, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like button on the video. It truly means a lot. Um, your boy, Asian sensation. Yours truly. All right, Swan Lake, go to map. Let's get it. I'm going to try... I want to try Loadout. Like, both of our mortars so, so freaking good on this map. But is there a world where I can get away with both Sniper Mortar? Is that ever possible? I really want to try it. I've never seen anyone use it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. I, I, like... I have been going meta the past two games, but I want to try stuff, too. Alongside going meta. So, this is what we're going to rock. I'm going to spike the beginning because I want to anti-stall this round. Since it's going to hurt the farm player more than it's going to help me. And he's probably like, bro, what in the world are you using, brother? He probably is going to expect both Sniper Ace, but we have Mortar here. And why Mortar? That's a good question. That is a very good question. I mainly... I don't know. I, I It is kind of nice to have like a... Because I feel like if we get a 2-3 Sniper alongside like a Mortar, nothing's going to really get by that. I don't know. I just kind of felt like going mortar. So we're going to try it. See if we can contend with both farm mortar with both sniper mortar is the goal. Because like I think a Bernie stuff with a 2-3 sniper will be pretty good. I hope. We'll see though. Expect to get rushed here. Let's see how he plays this though. It's 100% boat farm mortar. There's a very, very slim chance he goes boat farm glue. I've seen some pros do that, but I think it's an overrated strategy personally. Yep, there's the early mortar. Now, if he's smart, he's going to get the mortar up top to actually anti-stall. Let's see if he and gets a boat up top. If he actually anti-stalls, that's going to be interesting, but it's pretty difficult to anti-stall on this map. Um, but yeah, it would require him to get like a boat up top as well as targeting his mortar towards the start of the map. But he's not doing that. He is sending me like infinite pinks, which is fine. I mean, he's chipping away at my live count, but like I don't really care about peaking 20 lives whatsoever. Although Swan Lake is a very difficult map. It's not the end of the world. So we should be at over 400 eco going to round six, which is ideal. It's kind of what we're looking for. I think I send him, I could send him a few blacks, but greens will just force plenty of defense as well. So this should, he's gonna rush me as well though, I'd imagine, yeah. Which is fine. We'll just get up a second uh, boat right here. Get this one on close. He's gonna balloon boost here. Do I have a balloon boost? I'm gonna balloon boost back. We'll counter boost. And we'll get up a Grape Chate. I'm fine leaking, dude. I'm a low-life warrior. I want to save my spikes for a few things. One, potential region rushes round 13, which can be devastating against sniper players, such as myself here. And also for like Moab, saving those spikes is kind of nice to have. I think I can aggro to about 500 eco. And then I really got to lock down and start saving up for round 13 and such. So yeah, 500 eco, we will go to totally fine i could get greedy here and i think i'm going to because i feel like with mortar we should be able to greed i think he's gonna go for a farm right here prediction farm right yes perfect timing yes that was such good timing hopefully we gain a boost out of him but i don't know if we'll be successful yeah he's fine maybe a few leaks though yeah a good amount of leaks i'm all right oh plenty of leaks i'm all right with this now if he counter rushes with a bunch of yellow or something i just get up my mortar but we're hiding the fact that we have mortar. I'm not revealing mortar until I need to. I'm gonna get a sniper in this corner here, hide this underneath the timer so that he can't tell the upgrades on it, as one should. It's the sweaty play, but it's the correct play. That's how you play optimal sniper, baby. <laughs> All right, so he's got two plantations with about 300 eco, I would imagine. Nothing crazy. He probably has less than 300 eco, actually. Uh, it's close. All right, if he rushes right here, do I go for destroyer? I think that's fine. Yeah, we're gonna go like this, and then we'll go destroyer. Yep. Totally fine. Put you on first. Micro that. And we're good to go. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
He tried to get a boost out of me there. Not going to work, Buckaroo. So we're good. Um, now I'm going to sell... I'm probably going to sell this for a semi-auto. Does he even all out me here, though? I don't think he does. I can defend it all out. I get Bloom Buster and then a semi-auto and boost. That defense. But I'm just going for semi-auto. Not going to hesitate here. He's got a lot of money saved up. Yeah, he's going for that. Okay. I'm going to act like I'm rushing him. Hopefully force a destroyer is what we're looking for. Try to bait a destroyer here. Yep, insta bait the destroyer. And a grape shot. <laughs> Absolutely jabated, buddy. Absolutely jabated. Hope you glad you got up all that defense for two region leads and three zebras. Bye. Yes, sir. Okay. So I'm going to want to sell, sell for 2200. Once I have about 45. Oh, he's banking round 14. Well done. I'm trying to get up a. Um... It's going to be tough. I need a sniper farm like round. An eco boost for now. 2200. Yeah, one more eco boost. I really wish I could aggro on this round, but I can't. Does he rush right here? This is a good round to rush here. I'm surprised he's not. I'm surprised you're not. All right, we're going to go for it. Cyber farm. Does he punish? I don't think so. No punish. Okay. We're absolutely fine. Moabs are a different story, though. It's going to be difficult. I do think we probably are going to need another mortar because if he sends a Moab with leads behind it, guess what? The leads are just going to mosey on through if I don't have a mortar. So that's also why mortar is better than sniper or ace for these kind of early game to mid game situations. Let's go for this right here with rapid reload. If he sends a Moab, we want to get up 0.50 and then a second destroyer. Yeah, we'll get 0.50s like that. And we're good to go. He's trying to all out me with pinks right now. That's kind of comical. Why are you all out of me with pinks? You have a bank, bro. So his bank's going to fill up soon. And he's going to cash it out to BIA. And when he does that, we might be able to kill him round 20 with like two fast cooldown moabs. Problem is I don't have a balloon boost, which is a little unfortunate. He's going to try to greed this without boosting. No, yeah, you need to boost. He might just die here. I'm going to hit him with a little Sia here. Might be just GG. No, he's good. Still only has a bank. That's kind of bad for him um he very well could just all out us right here so we have to get ready for that as well because round 20 is a vi very difficult round for me and i think he knows that so i'm expecting a big rush right here no rush though like a bfb with all that moves behind the top wouldn't be a bad idea on his end because it forces me to sell my destroyers for uh um fourth tier boat probably okay we rush him here he's like turtling up so hard we should force another destroyer here yeah perfect that's all i was going for very nice i honestly should have rushed him with more he's, he still doesn't have a ton of defense he's going for the bia that's fine i'm gonna go for a second sniper farm in that case i highly doubt he rushes me here get this guy on last with 0.50 we can micro down to strong and first later but i think we're doing fine i honestly think we're in a great spot we delayed his BIA all the way to what? Round 20, 21? Something like that? It's really good. Let's go ahead and... I'm going to need another destroyer on this upcoming round, though. Most likely. I'll get this one on strong with 0.50. Not 0.50. We're not getting 0.50. It's taking away money that I can get from my sniper farms, right? That's kind of what my logic is there. Okay. I'm fine ecoing a little bit here. Is he dead? He might die. Might die here. I think he's dead. GG's. No way. Boost. Keep on sending leads. He defends. But we got a boost out of him. Really nice. Okay. I'm going to sell. Nope. I can't even afford if I sell that. Uh, we can go sell, sell. Get my second sniper farm. Third sniper farm, actually. Great spot for us. Strong. Last. Strong. That's perfect. Now, him sending a BFB isn't a terrible idea. Because what's going to happen, likely, is that all my snipers shred the freaking BFB before I can boat pull it. So we kind of want to have like a boat pull on standby. Or at least an easy upgradable upgrade to boat pull boat is what we're looking for. But that, that's partially why I put these on last is for situations like that. Um, Can I send him anything that... He's ecoing right now or something? Why are you ecoing, bro? You're weird. I'm going to keep that on first. Yeah, we're absolutely golden here, baby. Is he? I don't know. He's not egoing. His farms suck, though, so this is good. 
His farms are kind of dookie. Obviously favorable for us, but... I think we can rush him on this upcoming round. I also think I'm getting 0.50 on these. So we actually sold the BIA here. Are we going to be able to defend round 25 right now? It's looking like, yeah, because he's not blending any rushes. Oh, he forced a big one. Really good. That's what I was going for there. I'm going to sell that. We're greeting. Like I said, a BFB is not a bad send on his end, but at this point, if I just upgrade all my snipers like, and have them on first, they will shred the BFB and the inside layers on their own. So we'll see if that happens. So I'm fine keeping them on first because that's actually an underrated tech. Now, are we going to even use the mortar that much late game? Probably not. But again, it was mainly for the ease of early to mid game that I wanted to bring it. And I kind of wanted to see how we would stack up against the counterpart, like boat farm mortar versus boat sniper mortar. Like the sniper farm versus the banana farm, which is better here. And so far, we're out playing with uh, snipers. So it's very nice. I think we have seven farms now, seven sniper farms on the map. Really good spot. I will have to get 0.50 on these shortly, as mentioned. Now, defending ZOMGs isn't like super easy for me. I can't ground zero cleanup, which is a little bit concerning, but what I can do is I can uh, mortar cell cleanup and just spam like destroyers and whatnot. So it's kind of how we'll play it. I think I'm only gonna get up probably two more sniper farms, and then it's time to just prep our defense for round 30. Because once round 30 hits, that's when ramping takes uh, effect and ZOMGs will be like double, double health. So, and then they only get stronger every round thereafter. So you have to keep that in mind. All right, this is all I'm doing for sniper farms. Now we can start upgrading them as well. Make sure we have FMJ minimum on them. I will get them up to 0.50, don't worry, but not right now. Okay, so yeah, now we just save up. Prep our defense. Uh, is a big one necessary? Probably for cleanup, we want one in the back. Yeah, but I'm gonna get a bunch of these on strong now that and I'm going to get 0.50 on them. We still want someone first, of course. I don't think I really use Cripple Moab here. I don't think it's needed. But I will get up a bunch of uh, Buccaneers as well as a big one in the back for cleanup, just in case. So I can uh, mortar stall. Okay, he's going to rush right away. We'll get these up. I think keeping them on first is okay here. Also, camo leads are killing us right now, <laughs> believe it or not. So yeah, we should be okay here, right? I'm gonna have to mortar stall soon, but for the most part, we'll be okay. I have to sell one of these. Yeah, this is where I'm, it's kind of just like sloppy, I feel like. Like we defend kind of, but like I said, it's sloppy. And it does re require a fair amount of mortar stalling. Okay, I'm boosting this because AI um, is coming. AI ceramics, that is. Okay, we can defend this easy, though. This is like his all-out, right? This is like his all-out, so we just have to defend this. He only has two more farms behind it, so... Maybe I do bolt pull this. Is bolt pulling ever the play here? Round 32 AI is getting by kind of far here. We're good, though. Can sell sniper farms. It's okay. I really wish I could boat pull these, bro. I really wish I could boat pull these. Okay, now we can. We got time, we got time, we got time. Boat pull, boat pull, boat pull. I have all my boosts as well, or two boosts still. Really good. Need a counter soon, bro. Ah, my money management's just terrible right now, dude. Or my micro. I'm trying to micro, but I'm just turtling up. I'm turtling up. Turtling up, bro. Turtling up, man. Yeah, we just lose. I, I tried to defend without countering, but just didn't work. GG's. I mean, it's a free win, but for some reason I didn't counter. I'm a bot. Can't win them all, boys. I mean, unless. Unless. No, I could have done it, dude. Oh, well, I went for the bonus clip. I mean, I can counter and win that, but that's so boring. Like, I don't care about the win at that point. I just wanted to flex. So, whatever. Good game. I could not care less about the medallions. I just wanted to get a cool defense. So, GG, subscribe. Boat, sniper, mortar. I don't know, bro. It's just not great, but oh, well, subscribe.